welcome to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can send uh, data of google sheet in emails automatically uh, we can set a time interval uh, or a time in a day in which uh, the data should be sent over the email so this will be very helpful when we have to send the regular updates uh, that are recorded in the google sheet uh, and uh, we should send in the condition when we should send that data over the email then uh, we can uh, use this method so for this uh, first uh, let's open one uh, google sheet sheet.new this is the command for opening google sheet or uh, you can uh, use uh, you can open google sheet from your drive or google drive too so this is uh, send daily email so for example uh, let's say we have a data over here so we have a tax and their status so tax one completed Okay, for example, you have the data like this in the Google Sheet, or this data can be uh, larger than uh, than than shown in this uh, sheet. And uh, when you have to send that uh, send this uh, data over the email, so for the f for the first time or for the one time, you can just copy the, that that uh, these tables to and attach that, them over the email. But when you have to send that. Uh, email uh, regularly like in a daily basis then um, that options uh, will take time so in that case you can uh, you can um, automate this uh, process from google app script so for that uh, go to the tools and open the google app script editor okay uh, I'm opening uh, Google function so we can give our uh, own function name so email send email and first define the seat variable here we have the spreadsheet functions spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet so that it will uh, link with the spreadsheet uh, that we have uh, opened recently and get spreadsheet and then that is print sheet we uh, use the get active uh, sheet so or or you can also define the sheet name here from which sheet you need to send the data and uh, so in the daily email or daily progress update email you may have to append the date in the subject uh, line so for that i'm defining the data variable here and we have the utilities functions and uh, in the utilities function we can format the date so new date function will give the um, give the information about the, of today's date and we can format the data as gmt and uh, also we can form format the data format the data structure so here dd mm yyyy so the date will be uh, shown in this format and now we have to define the subject here email subject so this is the email subject so in the email subject we'll we can write our our subject as per our need so daily i'm going to write daily update for and uh, for this uh, i'm appending the date here plus date so that the date the email title will be, will be daily update for so for example 5 january 2021 and so on so uh, this will uh, take the data uh, date from here and we'll append that uh, date into the subject line and define the uh, email recipient here uh, this is the re email recipient uh, so i'm going to write info point so this is the email address uh, in which we are going to send uh, the email and we have the data uh, so uh, this will uh, give us the information about who, who, what data or uh, the data location so we have the data from a1 to uh, 
from uh, row 1 to uh, row 4 and the column A to B so for that we can give the range as so for uh, this we'll first uh, take the seat and the get range will uh, will uh, help us to uh, take the range of the data and the data range will be A1 to B4 so this will uh, take this will take the data from a1 to a1 to b4 so all of this uh, data will be selected if you add data off to here then you have to specify d1 to d11 sorry a1 to d11 and so on so even uh, specify your data range here and dot get values uh, commands will uh, uh, will get that data the data from will get that the data from the seed uh, to the variable data and now now we have we had the email recipient we had the email subject and we had the data and uh, that needs to be attached over the email so now let's define one variable as variable uh, email body so in the email body uh, we'll be formatting the email as the html format so for that you have to start the html tag here and in the html body tag so we can write the text here so first hi all or what greeting you are you are like to, like to add in the email and then uh, after this uh, we'll be adding some break here break line so that uh, the next next uh, information will be appended over the next line so that so after hi all we'll be adding the two two new line and then we'll write uh, some text here please find the status uh find the status as below so this is the text uh, this is the message body we are going to send and then we'll also add some break here to line break. and now we'll be adding the table tabular data here so the data information is already recorded over the data variable now we'll first uh, construct the table here and then uh, the day our data will be appended uh, here so for that you have to start the table uh, tag here and in the table tag you can define some uh, styling so border so border collapse will uh, add the border here border in the table and you can also define the border uh, value so border value one means uh, that border will be present there and you can also define the cell padding uh, this is the padding length uh, that will be added over the cell and then uh, tr this is for the table uh, row tag you can also define the background color here so similarly like we have said the border and border length here if we specify the background color and then call in the colon if you give the color name then uh, it will add the background color i'll show you um, that uh, at the end now we, we have to iterate the data um, data uh, so that the data um, uh, in this in the source uh, table source uh, sheet will be uh, will be added over the tabular form so for that we have to iterate over the row so for row equals zero and row is less than data length so it will over uh, iterate over to uh, all the rows so in this case we have the four rows so the data will be the loop will be go over four and and then uh, will will incre increase the row after the uh, in each iteration and similarly for the column we have to uh, loop over there so in the column so column uh, data started from zero so first data uh, length so we'll uh, measure the first data length and then we'll increment the uh, column here now if the row is uh, 
now we have we will we are going to add the if condition here so if row equals zero so that uh, the if the row is first row we will be formatted that differently so that the the first row will be look like as a table heading so for that if the row is uh, if this is the first row then we will be format we'll add some contents over here sorry uh, this is the email body and in the email body we are going to add some information we are going to add the uh, table header so for table header we will be using the ts tag table header ts and then we'll append the data here so from the data we'll append the data of the rows and column data and we'll be closing the you know, ts tag here so this is the start and we'll be ending the ts tag here so if the uh, if the row equals zero if this is the first row then uh, we'll be uh, write that as a data as a table header if that is not the case then else uh, this will be similar to uh, we can just copy this uh, content here and instead of ts we'll be write that as a td so that uh, it won't it won't be formatted as a table header so after now after here we have uh, written the table uh, data and now and now we are we have to add email body sorry uh, we'll be adding that in the Uh, table row break here uh, the table row will be closed to her from here so now after this uh, sorry email body uh, will also add some breaking character like uh, thank you or the greeting at the end of the table so for that uh, so this email body plus syntax will uh, Add its information in the main body so that first we have write uh, this and then we have added the table data here in the row format in the column format and now we'll be um, we'll be adding some additional information here in the table so in the table so the table row will be closed from here and then we'll also close the table uh, table here so the the table uh, writing part has been completed and after adding some break line break uh, we can write a uh, final uh, greeting here thank you and then we'll we have to close the body html body and we have to also close the html uh, tag so after here the email body has been constructed and this will contain the this grading and table row data and table column data formatted in the tabular uh, form so all this information now has been added over the email body now the final part uh, remaining is uh, we have the mail app uh, functions in the google app script and uh, we had the send email function there and send in the send email we have to de define the recipient so recipient so will be uh, this and then uh, we have to define the subject here and then uh, and then in the email body we can uh, use the html body so as in the html body the, the the message part or body part will be taken from the email body so this will attach the email body uh, in the html so here i missed the clo missed to close the stack so this is all for the uh, for sending the email so first uh, we have uh, created or we have uh, uh, defined the seat variable and then we have 
define the date very well. Well, we have a re we are going to write the current date in the uh, formatted uh, in the uh, year, date, month, and year format. And here we are constructing we are creating the subject line uh, here. And this is the email recipient. And this is the data range where we have the data in uh, spreadsheet. And this is the email body construction where we have uh, defined some uh, structure for the um, table color and padding. And this is the row and column iteration where we have where the data uh, over the <coughs> this variable will be written in the tabular format and then we have closed the tables uh, and um, close the email body and now we have attached that message in email body in the email so let's save this code and first uh, we are going to run this code from here and then now uh, we'll uh, automate this process so click in the run command so once you run this code you have to define the trigger so uh, from trigger this uh, email will be sent uh, over the def in the defined format in the defined date so review the permission in the advanced tab click on the go to on type and click on the allow and now this execution has been completed so email should be there so this is the daily update uh, daily updates for the date and then this is the status upgrade so tax uh, and uh, their status sorry i think uh, we have used the small letter here due to that the, the month is not correct there okay the month has been now corrected uh, to the appropriate month so so this is all for sending the emails um, and now to automate this process go to the triggers and click on the add trigger and here you have to choose the function so the, we have only one function so this has been chosen automatically and in the uh, select event source choose time driven and here if if you have to send this uh, updates hourly in the over the email then you can just leave it as a hour timer but if you have to send this uh, daily so you can define the day timer and here you can define the uh, time so if you define the 1 a.m to 2 a.m this trigger will be executed will start executing from 1 a.m so if uh, the, it doesn't take more time then it will be sent at 1 a.m so you can define the time here and if there are any failure you will get the notification and then click on the save so uh, after uh, adding this trigger the email will be sent automatically in the defined time here we have defined it at am so the email will be sent over the at am so you can check that and that email format will be uh, as below So uh, this is all from the today's session and if you have any questions or comments regarding this video you can leave that in the comment section and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.